It is a project six years in the making. It looks pretty cool, it's just that it's not done yet. That is finally nearing the finish line. We're working as fast as we can. Tonight, CBS News Miami asks Doral leaders when you will finally be able to take a walk in the park. And whether you live or work in the city of Doral, certainly you've noticed this massive construction site. And we took note when you started asking questions on social media about when this project might be completed. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero met with city leaders to ask when it'll get done, and she's live now at the park with some answers. Nakaya? Lauren and Jim, some South Florida residents could get to use this park, a portion of it this summer, but more on that coming up in a few minutes. First things first, the question that many residents have asked about this park, how did we get here? When it's gonna be opening completely for everybody to enjoy and, and use the actual facilities as, as a resident of this community. The Doral Central Park stretches over about 80 acres of land between Northwest 92nd Avenue and 87th Avenue on Northwest 33rd Street. The estimated $168 million project includes an amphitheater, community center double the size of any other in Doral, and a water park. I spoke with Parks and Recreation about the project that is six years in the making. We are making the best of what we have in the situation. Um, we're working as fast as we can. The project was partially funded through a $150 million city bond passed in 2018. It didn't break ground though until three years later in 2021. Be able to do the permitting, a lot of the underground work, putting the infrastructure, all of that took time, um, as well as COVID did occur and, you know, it wasn't without some consequence. You know, we did have some um, impact to the project from COVID. And when the park does open, it will be open to anyone who wants to visit. Doral residents, though, will pay less for activities than people who live outside of the city. We are going to be, you know, allowing non-residents, but there will be, you know, a charge for activities that they do have. I've seen pictures of the construction, uh, the progress, and it looks pretty cool. It's just that it's not done yet. Now, as of now, the city's plan is to open the park in two phases. The first will be the outdoor portion opening this summer, and later this year, the community center is set to open. Lauren and Jim? Now, Kai, it looks pretty spectacular, at least the plans look pretty spectacular, but a six-year process, a lot of delays. I'm thinking there are probably a lot of cost overruns. How's the budget looking? That's right. The budget was originally for this park $119 million, and it's gone over $50 million in budget. Now, they've canceled other projects to move funds around for this project. It's in particular, a pedestrian bridge that it was originally planned for the city. Back to you guys. All right, hopefully the people who get to eventually enjoy it yeah. will think it's worth even the, <laughs> the extra <wait>. money. Yeah, <laughs> Nikaya, thanks so much.